Good morning. I hope everybody's having a great day. I beat the sun today, but it's light enough I can see. So I'm going to get to harvesting today. I'm going to do as much as I can. I do need to get one more stand for my cooler. Um, so maybe I'll just have to set everything in buckets on the ground. I can fit five buckets per shelf, but I think it's easier to access them if I only do three. So I do have that option as well. And I have three shelves on each one. So anyway, yeah, I can fit like 30 buckets in there and then on the floor if I needed to. So I don't think I have that many. And then last night I did up the cooler to 45 just because it was the very first night and I did have flowers in there. And I wanted to see what it was this morning when I came in. And after I got home, which I mean, it's only 10 minutes, but 10 minutes there and 10 minutes back is a 20 minute round trip. I remember I left the zinnias in there, but I was just filling my shelves and making it look pretty and I was going to take them out and then I forgot. So there weren't that many zinnias and I actually picked most of those two or three days ago. So now I'll just have fresh zinnias on the table this weekend when they come to see the flowers for the wedding. So that'll be okay. And I'll take those out of the cooler. So I guess I'll go inside and see if it's 45 degrees and then I'm going to set it to 40 while I'm out here and can check on it during the day moment of truth. 44, 43 over there, so it's a couple degrees cooler. Oh my poor zinnias. I'll get them out. Maybe I'll just recut their stems and put them in some warmer water and see how they do. This will be your spot zinnias. Warm up, stay pretty. All right, so. The cool bot was set to 45 and it was actually a couple degrees cooler than that. I have a lot of sunflowers blooming. But, whoops. Those are way too big. I can't use those for cutting. So, I might just go cut them down. It's probably hard to tell how much taller it is than me, but... <laughs> Yeah, you can't put that in a vase. And this stem, I can't even cut it with my clippers. Like, they won't even go around it. This is my first year doing sunflowers, and I did get a bunch of the Pro Cut variety. Um, and then I accidentally got some branching ones, and I read that branching ones are not as good to use. Although it does feel nice in the shade of them. Like when I was doing my Snapdragon's roll, I was like, oh, the shade is so nice. But my slow shoe is over here and I don't want this. So even it's branching, so maybe some of these branches will come out. I'm gonna cut it down low though. So I cut it off probably a little above knee high and it's still taller than me. <laughs> I'm gonna go throw this in the ditch. There's no, there's no flower or seeds, so I don't think it's gonna start anything. Maybe the deer will like it. Maybe I should throw it further away. Maybe I should throw it further away than I am right now. I'm going to cut a couple though and then walk them somewhere. Maybe the deer can munch on the leaves. I guess they're really good for protein. So I'll take it outside of the electric fence and take it down the trail and maybe they'll like it. I hope that does not invite them into my garden though. Ah, oh, my Celosia is happier already. It's getting some sun. There are a few others, but I'll cut them and then they'll be short, so... They have some flowers on them. I'm going to take these first, though, somewhere. Okay, I threw them where we don't mow on the path, and the farmers don't mow. It's kind of in the ditch, and it's pretty far away from my garden. Jeez, look at all this Queen Anne's lace just growing wild. I cleaned up this ditch this year. I cut, like, I went through and, like, weed eated it. And I don't remember this ever being so prolific, so maybe it just gave it a chance to come up. But you can tell it's Queen Anne's lace because it has the dark little flowers in the circle. It's kind of crazy, like what, like weed eating an area and then seeing what comes up does it brought back all of this stuff that I'm sure was planted maybe for cows or something before. 
kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. Yay, I got a huge harvest today and I still have a lot out there that needs harvesting, but it's starting to get really, really hot in the sun, um, which isn't good for the plants when you're cutting them and it's too hot. So maybe I can harvest some more this evening. I am gonna go grab my lisianthus really quick. There aren't that many of them. And then I'll give you a little tour of all of the little buckets. <laughs> Gorgeous. I still have one bucket I could fill and then I'm low on buckets. I could stuff these fuller, but I just put this like varieties together. So they're all by themselves. I get one more stand every bucket in here would fit and then I need to empty out my other cooler and put those in here so I think you'll every bucket I have will fit in this cooler I'm gonna have to get more buckets but I have enough flowers Sorry for the short video. It was kind of a hectic day. I harvested all of the flowers that I showed you and then I got them in the cooler and then I made some bouquets and then I delivered those bouquets and then I had somebody come out to the farm because they wanted to take some pictures. So um, I did, I went and weeded around all my, it needed done anyway. So I weeded it around them and I'm glad I did because the, the person was sitting on some of the wood and before they would have been sitting in weeds. So I'm glad I got that done. And then I weeded two rows of peonies while I was, you know, while they were taking pictures. So that was good. And now I'm gonna call it a day, but I didn't get a ton of footage and I hope everybody has a fantastic day.